to the Nomi King back here on the channel Spotlight and Review Series. And today we'll be spotlighting Gamos Paradise. And also, you can find this in Mini 83. The channel's been around for about three years around ish. <laughs> they do gameplays, Easter eggs, let's plays, etc. Normally upload less than two times a week, but they do Xbox 360 and Steam stuff. And the Xbox 360 and Steam name will be down in the description below. He's with the Super Pod Bros. And hopefully, you guys can come and check out this awesome guy. Wait, it seems like he has a nice fan base already. 220 subscribers, pretty good. So let's see if I can give you as much advice as I can for your channel and hopefully bring some attention. So, first, we'll start out with the channel show. Alright, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that I think this channel intro is a little too long. 20 seconds is, I feel, is a little bit too much. Uh, what I would do is double the speed and make it 10 seconds, and that would work fine because you lose a lot of viewers if your channel intro drags on for too long. You're like, why are we looking at the same screen the entire time? So it's important to make sure it's not over long. Most people recommend only like 5 second clips. I think 10 seconds is alright, but anything over 15 is no, I don't like it at all. I get bored. So, otherwise, the only thing I have a comment is is that I wouldn't put an actual video in as your channel intro. If you check out my channel, I have like a compilation of just random clips that I took and showing off what's going on for the channel and stuff like that, just to drag attention in as a whole. So you're not looking at this and say, oh, this guy only does Five Nights at Freddy's. You can have that aspect like, oh, he also does Minecraft, or he also does this, or this, or this, or this. That's like mine showcases all the different types of games that I play, and all the stuff that I do. So it can drive to attract more audience, not just one single audience that will attract more. Um, over here, it looks nice. This is all organized, and I like this layout. Keep this as it is, and try to use this for all the when I was like, welcome people back, explain what the game is. And then tap the twist. Uh, everything else on the homepage looks good. I like the other gaming in paradise. I like that aspect because it also shows you like, oh, this guy's friends with him, him, and him. So it drives attention to other channels and also pull back on yourself. So that is good. So let's go check out the video tab. Oh wait a minute, I didn't check out the top part. Forgot to do that. Um, I like. Turn off. I like this logo up here, it has a name on it, it's attractive. Um, maybe add like a little gaming piece into it, maybe like change it, add like a gaming part of it, like uh, Call of Duty or something, or your face on there or something. That will make it a little bit more attractive to the viewers. This could add a little bit more like picturesque, add some pictures on the sides here, drive more attention to your link down here would be nice. So that's what I have recommendations for that. You don't want it to be overdone, like too many colors that it's like, why am I looking at this, it's giving me a headache. But you don't want it to have too little stuff on it that's just like Gamer Paradise. That's it. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go on to the video tab. I can notice already there's some really, really good thumbnails. And thumbnails are important because no one really wants to see like for instance, no one wants to just see like random clips from your game. It's nice to have your title on it and some pictures to drive people into it. And there's nice Photoshop work on here that is well done as well. So this is all good and good. I like these. Definitely like these a lot. Uh, let's check out the Roblox one because if you haven't known, I used to play Roblox a little bit. Um, I used to play the Call of Duty 5 on there a lot. I love that game so much. But then it kind of got a little bit like I don't like the way it's laid out anymore, so I just quit that. I used to play some like random stuff on Roblox, like the city life and stuff, and I don't play that, I just don't play Roblox anymore, because the game is like, bleh, it's like layoff, so I'm not really into Roblox anymore, but I used to play it a lot, my cousin showed me it for the first time, once again, it doesn't show
All right, so looking at this, the quality is good. The camera quality is good. The little border around the S, it's all good. Uh, the lighting is an issue in the background, as you, as you can tell. Um, it's not that good to have the light. Like, my room has no windows in it, and the lighting, it's normally dark. I only have one ceiling light in, but I also have the desk lamp here that changes the lighting up for me so it makes it look good. So I just have the way I have my camera angled for if I do, because normally I don't do a face cam. But if I would do a face cam, I would have to angle it away from that so the glare doesn't hit me. But that normally gives good off lighting, so the window in the back, if you can change your desk around and your setup to another wall, that's something you have to deal with, but blinds could do it if you get good enough blinds, or to sit, situate yourself that you're in front of the light so it doesn't blind the viewers and create a bad glare. Everything else looks of good quality, so let's just see up here. Take a look here. Um, this recording device that is being used, I mean, with Roblox and games like this, yes, the video quality is not going to be as good of FPS as like Minecraft or something like that. But I, the only problem I had when I had my video quality that bad was when I had an XSplit account. I used XSplit for a little bit of time and OBS, and I tried recording. Recording with Expo wasn't bad, recording with OBS was god awful. But when I went to live stream with either one, I couldn't live stream at all because my internet is not that good. I'm connected to a extension to an extension. So I have two extensions going to the main router. So yeah, I use Fraps right now and a lot of people put down Fraps like, oh it doesn't do that much, it's not that good. It's like, I like it. I don't mind it at all. I mean, I can edit in face cams, I can do whatever I need to, but it's not as easy as similar programs that I might look into it in the future, but for now, perhaps it's a really easy tool. I just press one button to start recording, one button to stop recording. I don't have to worry about recording separate audio or anything else. Like right now, I'm using Light Cam to do it for a screen recorder, and this works pretty good too. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it works. So, you just watch the FPS. Now, let's go check out the very end. Very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. 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 Very
this is what we are. Make a big name for yourself. Write a couple lines. Like, you can check out mine if you need to give an example. But just have, like, all this stuff laid out. Like, this is what my channel is. So, I would incorporate that into it. Like, okay, I don't mind I'm saying that. And I would add a few more links. Like, it's always good to have as many links as you can. Like, I have my Facebook on there, Google Plus, and Twitter. Uh, websites, my personal website I have on there, my Spreadshirt page, my partnerships, my whatever. Anything that's important that has to reference to my channel or it has or can help my channel and it's like media type of stuff, that's the kind of stuff you want to have in your about page. So that is all I got for Gamer Paradise. So take into consideration the things that we have mentioned here in this video and like how I end every channel spotlight I will hit that subscribe button and be at number 221 subscribers for Kieran Paradise so thank everyone for watching oh, I thank everyone for watching hope you all enjoyed and hopefully this was helpful to Gamer Paradise and also anybody else who had who took some of these tips and put them onto their own channel if you have any questions for me you can leave them down in the description below. If you have any comments for Gamers Paradise and any tips they can do, leave them down in the comments below with the end of plus Gamers Paradise so they can get the automatic message. And also, if you have any like, comments for me for this series, if I could do anything better, do the same thing down below with plus the link AMC. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. And if you did, go subscribe to Gamers Paradise and help him grow as well so we can all grow as a family. I am obviously partnered with Freedom, if you haven't known that already, and we are a fast-growing community that we're all trying to help each other out. We have all kinds of fun stuff. You can go check that out in my web page if you're interested in learning more about it. But that's all I got for you guys today, so thank you guys. I thank you. Yeah, I keep saying that. I thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully this helps Gamers Paradise, and I'll see all of you guys in the next episode.